Good Wednesday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to today's top news stories, let's take a quick look outside our weather window and some snowfall out there this afternoon. This uh, from our, our uh, Tumwater Canyon camera looking at the town of Leavenworth. And this was this afternoon earlier today and snow was falling around parts of north central Washington. We also experienced some light drizzle in places and even some freezing rain across north central Washington. But this will be our trend as a series of storm systems begin to move in and that means lower snow levels as we move into at least Thanksgiving night and then into a Black Friday morning. Our best shot will be in that time period for I think all rain during Thanksgiving and then changing over to snow late Thursday night and we could see some snow on the ground as we wake up on Friday morning. We will have much more on that in your weather forecast coming up a little bit later on. And now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. Do not eat, serve, or sell any romaine lettuce that the Center for Disease Control is warning in a new food safety alert posted yesterday afternoon. Well, it's that time of year again to fire up the snow blowers and break out the shovel as winter conditions approach. And Link Transit announced yesterday that Ski Link service to Mission Ridge uh, begins on Friday, November 23rd with the beginning of operation of Mission Ridge Ski and Board Resort. But first we begin tonight with Gigawatts Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing this week. Several local companies and government agencies face uncertain prospects in collecting their portion of the almost $70 million in debts the company has compiled. Gigawatt had big plans for property it was leasing at Pangbourne Memorial Airport, but those cryptocurrency mining pods it was building are almost certainly never going to be completed. The Port of Douglas County, which was leasing the property to Gigawatt, has lost several months of lease payments already, which were supposed to be used to pay back a loan for developing the site. That, according to Port Executive Director Lisa Parks. We had been pursuing an eviction with uh, Gigawatt um, um, because of a breach of, the, of their lease with us, um, but that's been stayed by the bankruptcy filing, so that's really the, um, the um, action and the activity that we're, that we're paying attention to at this point. Uh, we were successful in obtaining a uh, grant loan package from the Community Economic, Economic Revitalization Board, the CURB Board, for extending the road and the utilities into the site which serve the gigawatt lots as well as two other lots that are on the inside of, um, of gigawatt. So it's, it's, it was um, facilitated by gigawatts development, but it was not solely to benefit them. Um, their lease payments uh, were designed to pay back the loan portion of that. Douglas County PUD, meanwhile, is owed $310,000 by gigawatt. PUD Public Information Officer Megan Vibbert said, and a big part of that is for development for a substation to serve the Bitcoin mining site. We did terminate or start a termination process of their interconnection service agreement at the Pangborn Business Park. That's a 12-month termination process, so it will be done in October of 19, but they won't receive any service at that location. So that was one thing that happened. Also, as far as that money owed, a lot of it was for transmission and engineering studies, staff um, time to develop de uh, for development of a substation, which potentially um, that a substation in that area is going to be developed in the future anyways. So we're not looking at necessarily as um, all all money was wasted or at a loss. It, those those things are still viable and can be used in the future. Do not eat, serve, or sell any romaine lettuce. The Centers for Disease Constro Control is warning in a new food safety alert, which was posted Tuesday afternoon. The advisory comes as health officials in several states in Canada investigate an E. coli outbreak linked to romaine lettuce. The CDC says people who have romaine lettuce in their home should not eat it and throw it away, even if some of it has already been eaten and no one has gotten sick. The advice applies to whole heads of romaine, hearts of romaine, and bags or mixes that contain any types of romaine lettuce. They're also advising retailers and restaurants to not serve or sell any types of romaine lettuce. That includes salads and mixes containing it. No deaths from E. coli have been reported. Well, it's that time of the year again to fire up the snowblowers and break out the shovels as winter conditions approach. 
City of Wenatchee streets have been sprayed with ribbons of de-icer chemical in advance of what could be the first measurable snow of the season. A couple of years ago, NCW Life talked with Andy Greer, the city street maintenance supervisor, about the process. So right now we've got uh, we we run a night crew and a day crew. A um, couple guys on night for patrolling. We'll also have them spread the de-icer at night or anti-icing. Um, and uh, as we prepare for the next winter event, um, all shifts will go to 12-hour days. So we'll work 24-hour shifts, two shifts of 12s. <clears throat> usually uh, five teams of two and uh, for the most part we'll hit those 115 ish lane miles of main arterials and collectors and then uh, once those are clear um, we will move to our residentials. Okay. So obviously uh, residents of the city of Wenatchee can do their part. Of course there's a, an ordinance that requires that they keep their sidewalks cleared, right? Correct. So. That is correct. How about uh, cars that are parked along the street? Does that cause a problem for your crews? Yeah, you know, we've, uh, we've learned to deal with them, but uh, it, is, it is an issue as the drivers uh, try to maneuver in and out of the cars. Um, it'd be wonderful if the cars could be moved off the road so we could get the snow um, wrinkle clear over to the curb, but um, I know that that probably is not the answer for everybody as they probably don't have the parking. Um, but uh, another issue would be is just uh, we'd ask that um, people just don't throw the snow back out into the road. Um, I know that uh, we, we do create a berm in front of people's driveways um, and we try to keep those to a minimum, but uh, we do have to put the snow somewhere. Mm -hmm. so. Andy, good luck and stay safe out there. Greer also advises motorists that the brine-based solution used as a street de-icer is highly corrosive. It can cause damage to your car's wheels and undercarriage if not washed regularly. For more information on snow removal policies, log on to the City of Wenatchee's website. Link Transit announced yesterday that Ski Link service to Mission Ridge begins on Friday, November 23rd with the beginning of operation of Mission Ridge Ski and Board Resort. There will be seven round trips each day to Mission Ridge. The first trip up will depart from Old Station at 6.45 a.m. Remaining trips will leave from the Columbia Station. Departures from Columbia Station are at 7.05, 8.25, 9.45, 11.45, 1.05 p.m., 2.25, and 3.45 p.m. Lincoln Park is also served about five minutes after the Columbia Station departure times. Only the last trip of the day will return to Old Station at about 5.20 p.m. All skiers and snowboarders may ride Ski Link at no cost. Well, coming up next, the winter, this winter, the DOT announced in an attempt to conserve budget funds, they will close four more miles of the North Cascades Highway, which means four more miles for winter activities. If you're out and about Thanksgiving morning in Wenatchee, you may want to avoid the flock of runners participating in the 10th annual Turkey Run. And we'll bring you our weekly Kennel, Kennel Cameos feature from the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. I'm Grant Olson and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Arctic Refrigeration and Heating, serving North Central Washington, is proud to offer the finest heating and cooling air quality products along with prompt and professional customer service since 1984. Regardless of the temperature outside, Arctic is here for you. Arctic offers a variety of services, residential and commercial heating, air conditioning, commercial refrigeration, as well as planned fall and spring maintenance for the overall well-being of your system. Call Arctic Refrigeration and Heating for your heating and cooling needs. Thanks to the help I received at Goodwill, I have a job. I'm looking now. Thanks to Goodwill. Thank you, Goodwill. Thank, Thank you, Goodwill. Goodwill. Thank, Thank you, Goodwill. Goodwill. Thank, Thank you, Goodwill. Goodwill. Goodwill's Employment Connection Center is a free walk-in job search assistance program designed to get you back to work. When you donate to or shop at Goodwill, you're really helping people find work. Thank you. Goodwill, there's more behind the store. I'm Tom from Alpine Air Heating and Cooling. Just as the cool mornings and evenings are returning to our valley, Carrier and Alpine Air are offering best-in-class rebates and promotions to keep your home comfortable and safe this winter. Call for your free estimate today. Ask about rebates to $1,650 and low interest, low payment financing. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Alpine Air. Call 662-6846. Heat and Air, call Alpine Air.
Welcome back. In another news, every winter the DOT closes the SR-20 North Cascades Highway due to avalanche risk, but the, this, the area remains open to skiers, snowmobilers, and snowshoers to enjoy seasonal adventures at their own risk. This winter, the DOT announced in an attempt to conserve budget funds, they will close four more miles of the highway, which means four more miles for winter activities. When the DOT closes the highway this winter, typically when heavy snowfall begins and avalanche danger increases after Thanksgiving, the closure point will still be near the Ross Dam Trail. But in January, maintenance crews will move the western closure point back to the western side of Diablo Lakes. Thunder Arm near the Thunder Knob Trailhead and Colonial Creek Campground near Milepost 130. According to the DOT, crews will still host the annual Spring Opening Day celebration where crowds have lined up for decades. Well, if you're out and about Thanksgiving morning, you may want to avoid the flock of runners participating in the 10th annual Turkey Run. The 12K, 5K and kids race will mean reduced lanes on several city streets beginning at the starting line at Rotary Park on Western Avenue to Woodward Street to 5th Street. Race organizer Run Wenatchee says the Turkey Run has become the largest road running event in the city. Time now for our weekly Kennel Cameos feature from the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. Tonight, NCW Life's Rachel Mandelis introduces us to Blake the Dog. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Mandelis and I am here at the Wenatchee Humane Society with John Davies, the executive director here. And this, this is Blake. He's just a little, little excited today. Blake is very excited. He thought he was going to come outside and go with the play group, but instead he just gets me. Actually, believe it or not, he's a senior. He's about eight or nine years old, and November is Adopt a Senior Dog Month. So he, thanks to Barry Automotive, is uh, has a fee waived adoption so there's no cost for his adoption if you're ready to have this big boy who has a lot of energy for an eight or nine year old but he gets along with other dogs um, he just really doesn't care about cats so much he needs to be in a fence yard or just have someone that would be home with him all the time that he could believe this is not normal he's normally very quiet he's just really excited right now so so if someone would like to adopt him, what should they do? You would come down to the shelter 11 to 3 on Wednesday. We're closed on Thanksgiving Day. And then 11 to 6 Friday and 11 to 3 over the weekends. Oh, thank you. And Blake, I would ask you if you had something to say, but I think we know. <laughs> come get me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society is located at 1474 South Wenatchee Avenue and is open Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Give them a call at 509-662-9577 or visit their website at WenatcheeHumane.org. Kennel Cameos is supported in part by Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory in Leavenworth. Not only does the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory have great house-made fudge and super delicious candy and caramel apples, but they also have have great doggy treats for your four-legged friends located at 636 Front Street in Leavenworth. This has been Kennel Cameos at the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Stay with us. Sir, I pulled you over today to ask you one thing. Is it true that Apple Valley Honda has a free lifetime warranty on every new Honda? Officer, I'm glad you asked. Our lifetime warranty comes free on all of our new Hondas. That means you won't have to pay a dime for any major expenses. That could save you thousands. And another, and no, you do not have to service with us. It's a great peace of mind, officer. Wow, my wife and I have won the new Accord. We'll see you this weekend. Bob's Burgers and Brew in Wenatchee, only the best.
Bob's Burgers and Brew in Wenatchee. Only the best. Hey everyone, so today I'm tackling medical assistant ninja, trying to get that next level career. Man, this dead end job is holding me back. Yeah! Decision time, I'm going charter college. Now I'm a medical assistant student. Rocking it? Yeah, earn the president's award. Score! I took my career to the next level. Hey, I can level up to medical assistant ninja, so can you. Get on it. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. With Thanksgiving now only one day away, the Chelan Douglas Health District released an informational video with simple steps to help ensure that harmful bacteria won't be a guest at your festivities. A holiday meal can be challenging to prepare because there are so many foods being cooked at different times and temperatures. It's easy to forget that food safety is the most important ingredient. Four simple steps can help ensure that harmful bacteria won't be a guest at your festivities. Clean, separate, cook, chill. Clean. Start with clean hands, cutting boards, and utensils. Dirty hands and surfaces can spread bacteria throughout the kitchen. Always wash your hands with warm water and soap for 20 seconds before and after handling food. Clean your cutting boards, knives, and countertops with hot water and soap after preparing foods. Separate. Using the same cutting board for all foods can spread bacteria. Use separate cutting boards for fresh produce and for raw meat, poultry, seafood, and eggs. Keep raw meat or poultry away from raw vegetables and other foods that won't be cooked. And don't put cooked food on platters that held raw meat or let cooked food come in contact with raw meat, poultry, or their juices because the juices may contain harmful bacteria. Cook. Keep in mind that you can't tell it's done by how it looks. Cooking to the safe temperature kills harmful bacteria. A basic for preparing any meat, poultry, casserole, or side dish is a food thermometer. If you use a food thermometer, you will know when your food is safe and you won't overcook it or undercook it. Find a chart of safe cooking temperatures at HolidayFoodSafety.org. Chill. Make sure leftovers get put in the refrigerator within two hours of the meal. That includes your leftover pumpkin pie. Keep your fridge at a safe 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. And remember to use or freeze leftovers within three to four days. This holiday season, we want everyone to be food safe. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Time now for a look at your North Central Washington weather forecast. And before we get into those holiday weather forecast details, let's take a peek once again up at uh, nor the northern Wenatchee Valley, up around Leavenworth from our Tumwater Camera Sky Fi Tower Cam. This was this afternoon, and you can see snow is falling lightly, or was falling, I should say, up around the Leavenworth area this afternoon. We saw some light sprinkles around the Wenatchee Valley as well, and even some reports of freezing rain around the Waterville Plateau, also down near the Tri-Cities area. So a series of storms are moving in, and that will affect our travel and our Thanksgiving weekend. Coming up, we'll talk about that in a second, but today, really not that warm. In fact, we didn't warm up that much at all throughout our afternoon today. Today, 35 is all we mustered this afternoon. 29 was our overnight low, so we didn't. We only gained about six degrees throughout the entire day. 41 is our normal high. 
30 is our normal low temperature. 56, our record high. That was in 1965. And there's that 1985 again with another single digit record. Today's record, 7 degrees and 85. Still at 5.76 inches for the year. We did pick up so far a trace of precipitation and that will climb when we talk again on the Friday night during the evening news. Sunrise this morning was at 714 and the sun will set tonight or should set. It did set this afternoon. Should will. Yeah, by 419. Now let's put that surface loop in motion and show you what you can expect. Once again today, getaway day. If you're traveling to your Thanksgiving destination, a 40% chance of rain and possibly freezing rain, even some snow mixed uh, through the rest of the day today. Day. This will be at 9 o'clock tonight. We could still see those snow showers right around the Wenatchee area. Now we transition to your Thanksgiving morning at 9 a.m. We go up to a 50% chance. I think it'll be mainly rain tomorrow. You notice the flow moving up from the southwest. It is a tropical flow of moisture. And then as that collides a little bit with cold weather Thursday night into Friday, that chance for snow goes up to 60%. And I'm pretty confident we'll see some snow overnight Thursday into Friday morning. Saturday, as many of you travel home from the Big Apple Cup in Pullman, not too bad. Mostly cloudy skies, and we will see mainly dry conditions all across the state of Washington. And then Sunday, on your travel day home from your Thanksgiving holiday, mostly cloudy skies. Very late in the evening on Monday, we could see a 20% chance of showers. That'll be mainly to the north of Wenatchee. But then as we go into our next work week on Monday, Look at the size of this area of low pressure here coming out of the Gulf of Alaska. That will swing down and swing up some more moisture right into north central Washington. A 60% chance for rain and snow once again when we start off our next work week. Let's take a look now at your quick lube and tune forecast. Tonight, our Thanksgiving Eve, 34 degrees for our overnight low. So really not too bad as we start off Thanksgiving, but we will see cloudy skies and a 50% chance for on again, off again, rain mixed with snow showers for Thursday and 41, a good chance for snow, especially Friday morning. I think that will transition to rain maybe by noon or snow or so and then clear out a little bit for Friday, 40 degrees. So Black Friday shoppers bundle up Friday morning and then Saturday and into the weekend pretty much steady as she goes. Partly cloudy on Saturday, mostly cloudy Sunday, 40 degrees for high temperatures both days. And then that next round of storminess moves in on Monday and into Tuesday. 60% chance for showers on Monday, a 40% chance for Tuesday with highs in the low 40s. And that's a look at your local weather forecast coming up next. Tonight's sports report with Eric Grandstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. Dear Mary Maids, please clean the kitchen and the cabinets and floors and the chairs. And I wish you could clean the dog. <sighs> Colin is now feeding himself. Thanks, Megan. Hi, Megan. No worries. We got it all cleaned up. Let's hope Colin gets past the spaghetti flinging stage soon. Till then, we've got you covered. See you next time. Merry Maids. And now, it's a sports update on the NCW Live channel. And a happy Wednesday. We're here at Eastmont Lanes covering bowling today, so that's why I'm here. We're going to have this and the results coming for you Friday. The broadcast will be a week from Saturday here on the NCW Live channel as the Wenatchee Panthers take on the Eastmont Wildcats. And strangely, both teams with a loss so far this season. But it was a win yesterday for the Wenatchee Panther girls as we'll open up the Les Schwab scoreboard. The Panthers racked up 2,044 total pins and won by 534 pins over Moses Lake yesterday with games of 858 and 864. And then throw in the Bakers of 162 and 160. The team swept all four in the sets. Top scorers went to Emily Groth with a 177, senior Jessica Holbrook with a 202, and sophomore Kyla Hankins with a 202 and a 244. How about that? The Panthers take on Cross River rival Eastmont, as we mentioned, here at Eastmont Lanes. We'll have the results coming for you Friday morning on the Wake Up Wenatchee Valley program here on the NCW Life Channel. On the Les Schwab College scoreboard from yesterday, talking basketball, the Maui Gym Maui Invitational. Uh, Rui Hachimura scored 24 points, and Zach Norvell Jr. added 20. 
Gonzaga took care of business in the semifinals down in Arizona. 91-74 was the final. That means a match with number one Duke today as the Blue Devils advance to the title game with a 78-72 win over Auburn, ranked eighth in the country. College football, Washington and Washington State continued preparations for the 111th Apple Cup coming up on Friday. Latest playoff rankings are out and in it, Washington State stays at number eight while Washington moves up two spots to number 16. They're going with the AP rankings to help promote this game. So that's why you see WSU here at number seven. Nevertheless, Washington State is at its highest ranking when the two teams meet it is the eighth time that the two teams have been ranked when they'll meet in the Apple Cup on Friday. Again, that kickoff at Martin Stadium in Pullman, 530 on Fox TV. Seahawks coach Pete Carroll also revved up for the big games this weekend. Hey, big college game this weekend, huh? Big college game. Bruins and Trojans. Yeah. It's a big matchup. Last week, you know, it was a big deal. But this week, Notre Dame and, and the Trojans, that's pretty big now. I know. Apple Cup's coming. It's a big matchup, and uh, what, a, what an exciting year it's been. Uh, Cougs for on the run. It's really something. I know it's going to be exciting to see. Um, also, uh, we have big game, too. Uh, we're, we're traveling to Carolina, in case you guys weren't keeping track. Um, and, uh, it, it's a very familiar matchup. Somebody told me we've been playing nine years in a row or something like that against these guys, so uh, it's almost like a division matchup for us and for them, too. Um, so we're looking forward to uh, you know, to getting revved up and, and getting it going. Um, it's an exciting matchup. Uh, we know these guys pretty well. They know us pretty well, so uh, it should be, a, you know, like a, a good battle for us. The Seahawks play at Carolina at 10 o'clock on Fox. Seattle is still in the hunt for a wild card playoff spot at 5-5. Five and five. Carolina is second behind New Orleans in the NFC South at 6-4. and four. Carroll says the addition of Norv Turner as the offensive coordinator for the Panthers has certainly played a part in their offense doing well along with Cam Newton. You know, I'm, I know he's having an effect on the quarterback as he always has. Um, you know, Norv and I go back a million years of just kind of old family stuff and, and all that with his brother and, and all that. So I've been watching his career. He's been a great ball coach. He's been through a ton and done a lot of good stuff. They're bombing the ball down the field. they got great balance. Uh, they're using everybody. they got a lot of receivers to use. The tight ends are good. Um, you know, he's got the great toy in, in, uh, in Christian McCaffrey that they do all kinds of stuff with. And, and uh, it's a difficult offense always when Cam's back there because he runs the ball so well. Add Newton to the explosive play of Christian McCaffrey in the backfield and the Seahawks defense will have its hands full on Sunday. Yeah, he does everything. You know, he's caught 60 passes already. So, uh, you know, he's a real focal point in the offense and, and, and he, he's running the ball with good average and scoring, you know, both by the catches and, and from the ground. Um, that's a real problem, and you know you just give him a whole other dimension, uh, you know, that with Cam, and it just makes it really hard. Against Seattle and Carolina, kick it off at 10 o'clock in the morning on Sunday on Fox. Here at Eastmont Lanes, I'm Eric Grandstrom on the NCW Life Channel. That's Sports Grant. Back to you. Thank you, Eric. And that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. Also, keep it right here on the NCW Life channel, my, uh, t I should say Friday morning for Wake Up Wenatchee Valley with your host, Dan Koontz. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night and a happy Thanksgiving. This is TV. This is TV Set Free. TV Everywhere from Localtel sets you free to watch what you want, where you want. Catch your favorite networks, including live TV, ready to watch on any web-connected device for no extra charge. That's TV set free. Enjoy the extra value Localtel delivers with TV Everywhere. Visit Localtel.net and sign up today. Get the fastest internet available in North Central Washington by switching to Localtel and get speeds up to 1,000 meg. Call 888-8888 today or go online to Localtel.